All right, welcome back to Luke Automotive Services. Today we are finishing up the complete front end rebuild on Vicky's 97 Suburban. Uh, ended up being a pretty in-depth process, but it will be perfect for the road ahead. Uh, we're getting ready to wrap this thing up and move it over to your lime rack. If you want to see what we do with it, stick around, click like, subscribe, leave us a comment below. Caleb must be short. Let's change this. All right, back to rich working height. Caleb's doing a bang up job. He's got a whole bunch of stuff done on this for me today. I'll go ahead and put the keys back in for the torsion bars. Start with them flush. We'll check the ride height once it's up on the alignment rack. That'll work. Bruce is jamming over here to some Ozzy. Make some more noise before we get dinged for copyright infringement with some old Ozzy playing. A crazy train. And roll. We can put this thing on its tires and uh, well, we'll drop down, put the tires on, bleed the power steering system out because we did end up changing the gearbox because the gearbox that was on here had evidence of the nut of the do not touch nut on the top of it had been tampered with. So we're eliminating that as a possible issue for drivability issues. Frame angle was one. Oh, you know what? I need to set ride height. Uh, let's check our ride height and we'll check our frame angle. The ride height looks pretty good. Get on. Take it. Let's see what our frame angle is. Where'd my angle gauge go? Oop, it's right in front of me. Pretty much exactly where it was. One degree frame down frame angle. Sweep caster. Sweep caster. Much more even now. At least it feels more even. Steering wheel's way off center. Oh, that's a much better starting point. Let me square up my toe. Not bad for eyeballing it. <laughs> Let's see what we can do to improve it. So that's a pretty straightforward baseline. I like my caster on these at four, and I like my camber to be closer to the zero, which this one's actually great, but too much caster. So I'm gonna reduce my caster here, and I'm gonna reduce my camber there, make them all match up, and uh, that should be that. So let me move some eccentrics. 
Hey folks, quick shameless merchandising plug. Uh, we do have merch available now. Uh, LucorAuto.MyShopify.com We currently have two designs that are up there right now. We have the original founding member shirt of Church of the Bad Decisions. Um, that's available as a pocketed tee as well as a normal tee as well as a zip up hoodie. Uh, we also now do have the uh, I Support Bad Decisions shirt which is going to be uh, what we're going to use to get the Hellcat swapped AMC AMX project off the ground and paid for. Uh, at least that's the idea. Um, all the profits from that shirt um, are going to go into being able to afford all of the insanely expensive stuff that we're going to need to be able to do to make that AMX uh, end up running with a Hellcat in it and be able to kind of be pro touring style. So not just a straight line missile, but actually the ability to go around corners and stop and you know do that kind of thing. So. Um, that shirt just went live the other day. That's available if you want to go grab it. Um, and I am working on getting our uh, Lucor work shirts, these ones. Uh, those will be on the website probably next week. Um, and then I'm also going to get a uh, another version of this hoodie. For those of you who are interested in it. Can you see it? Hopefully you can see that. Um, we're going to get a version of that as well. Uh, Gina Rose down uh, at uh, in Kentucky is the one that's doing all of our stuff for us. And we appreciate all of her support. Um, this whole clothing thing is a little bit weird for us, but we're going to do our best with it. So uh, if you guys are interested, lucorauto.myshopify.com. Back to Miss Vicky's Suburban getting the line. Scott gave me this thing. I'm going to have to try it out. I always feel like a dork when I have a headlight on my forehead, but this thing looks like it's going to make me look like Cyclops. <laughs> Ooh. Lordy. Is it bright? <laughs> Pretty cool. So the downfall to these big wheels is uh, it, it obstructs my reach to get into the vehicle to make my adjustments, but we'll figure out a solution. That thing is really bright. I'm going to move the rear adjustment bolt outward, which is going to move my lower ball joint forward, which is going to reduce my caster. Um, that's going to increase my camber, but not too much. Probably a little more than I want it to, but let's start with that. So now my cambers are even. I still need to bring my caster down a little bit on this side, so I'm going to lock down my rear adjuster. And I'm actually going to take the front adjuster in, which is going to continue moving my caster forward, or reducing my caster, and taking my camber negative. So I want to see zero camber, if at all possible. Amber positive and four caster. I'll take that for this side, make the other side match that, and then we will recomp this because we started with a real wonky toe and it'll probably change. But now that I'll have a baseline that's close, my toe is much closer, so my comp will be more efficient and we will do it again. that for now. So let me reset that driver's side toe and we will recomp and start over. Double check. Probably make some final adjustments and this thing will be done.
Yeah, it was off quite a bit. So now I'll start over and do it again. I'm closer. I'm within three tenths of a degree side to side. I'm within one tenth of a degree side to side and my toe's out. So I'll toe it in to square it up. I'll recomp it again and then I'll probably do it one last time. These sensors are really sensitive to either being turned when it's rolling comp or when they're towed out or towed in. So when you do a massive uh, front end rebuild like this and everything's all wonky, it, it takes a couple of uh, compensations of the, of the vehicle before you get a final and accurate repeatable uh, measurement. So it just takes time. So my wheel is dead straight right now, so I'm going to tow both of those guys in. We'll see where our final camber is, because that may change with the adjustment to tow. So we'll do that real quick. Take my camber in on the passenger side, it'll increase my caster. So we'll do that adjustment real quick. My camber's floating on that two to one degree, tenth of a degree. Like this is super splitting hairs, but the half degree side to side for spec, but I'm picky about my alignments, so. Caster sweep again, just to see what it does now. My wheel. Closer. Let's get a wee bit more of that. So, I'm going to give myself a little more caster on this side. I should put me right where I want to be. I'll take it. Within a tenth side to side, dead on on my caster, my toe's right where I want it. I'm going to lock her down. And that should be that. Final turned out pretty good. Give it a little bit more toe. But it's pretty awesome. Drop the caster on this side a little bit, it'll bring my balance out my camber. So I can bring my rear adjustment out, which will increase my camber and decrease my caster at the same time. Then I'll have to reset this toe. But it looks pretty good. One more adjustment, this thing will be out of here. Everything all good on this? No other issues? Yeah, everything looks good on it. Cool. <clears throat> I think that's our final number. Well, it took a couple, a couple of round of rounds, but we got her done. Strip this thing down, get it off the rack. I got a lifted tundra to do in here next. These updated trims are really good on this truck.
quick connect coolant coupler is leaking. That needs to be addressed. That's a minor issue. At least it's an, a minor issue until it's not a minor issue. Well, that wraps up this session with Vicky's kid hauler. Although she's not really hauling any kids anymore. Just crafts and cookies and dogs, dog food. At least it will do it uh, in a straight line now and handle nicely. Uh, came in for an alignment, rapidly escalated into a full front end rebuild. 250,000 mile vehicle. It'll probably go another 215,000 miles with that front end. So hey, you know, you get you get out what you put in, as they say. Uh, well, with that, I have a lifted Toyota Tundra to get onto. And if I get onto, I mean get onto the alignment rack and get done, because it needs to leave today as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave us a comment below. Thank you guys and gals out there who watch our bits on what we do here in the shop. We're just a small shop in Central Ohio, showing a little bit of the stuff that we do for people. Thanks for watching. Have a safe day.